welcome into the Centenary Coaches Show. I'm Tim Owens, and I'm joined by Centenary Head Football Coach Byron Dawson. Coach, thanks so much for joining me. Thank you for having me, Tim. All right, a tough loss for the Gents over the weekend, falling 47-8 to at the hands of East, East Texas Baptist. Coach, we talked about it last week, that ETBU team, they're explosive. They're probably one of the better teams in the country, aren't they? Yes, they are, you know, and, and we knew who they were going in, and like I said last week, it was going to take a, a high-level game and almost a flawless game for us to go out there and do the things we need to do. And hats off to Coach Rue and his staff and that team. They competed at a, at a high level. And um, we're, we're focusing on our next opponent now. That's good stuff. Well, let's talk about some positives from last week first. Yeah. Kobe Chambers, just a big play machine. Another big play from the transfer from Mississippi Valley State. 61-yard touchdown catch from Trey Smith. Take us through that play. Well, you know, uh, this young man has, has been a steady, and uh, it was a good job by Trey making the right read on the call and getting the ball into our playmaker's hand. And that's something we need to make sure that we do more of in the future. But uh, once again, Kobe coming up strong, and he's not only a playmaker, but he's a leader on our team. Other than the obvious, the speed. Yes. What makes him special? Well, you know, he, he's seasoned. You know, he's, he's played at the Division One level. Uh, he's a... Uh, high character young man, he listens, he's well coachable, he does the little things right. And so that carries over to the field. And um, I think that uh, his natural ability, and explosiveness, and all those some fast guys that's chasing after him and he's pulling away. And so to have him on our team, that truly is a weapon for sure. Special teams scored on a bad snap on a punt and then on the defensive side of things, two sacks, four tackles for loss. That's the fourth week in a row the Gens have had at least four tackles for loss. What's been working on the defensive side of the ball with well, that, with those kinds of plays? You know, the guys are buying in to our system and uh, what we're trying to do as far as getting at the quarterback, but a lot of those sacks are go along with our coverage. Coverage causes sacks, and mm -hmm. so when you got good coverage, the quarterback has to hold the ball, but this is one of the, the best quarterbacks I've seen in a while. You know, he, he really knows what to do with the ball. He knows where to go with it, and he leads the country in several categories. And ETBU has the number one offense in mm -hmm. Division Three football right now. And so, you know, to go out there and get some TFLs and get that quarterback down a few times, I think that's something to build on. Let's talk about one of the local guys, Delarius Marshall, the Green Oaks grad, led the team with nine tackles and recovered a fumble. It's his second fumble recovery of the season. How have you seen him grow since the time he stepped on campus to now? You know, for a young man to be a, a local young man and come in and, and be able to play at a high level, I think that's a testament to his smarts. He has good football IQ, but he's a hustler, man. He, he grinds, he, he gets after. You know, many of your plays that you're gonna make on defense are effort plays. Mm -hmm. And so he's a high effort, high motor guy. And when you do that, good things happen. You make plays, you do, you're very disruptive. And that's what we like about Delarius. Well, let's put last week's game to bed and right. switch gears a little bit here. One of the driving sources to Centenary bringing college football back to Shreveport has been athletic director David Orr. It's been a vision for Orr for quite some time. He and I even had a conversation about it back in 2015. Taylor Nettle caught up with Orr earlier this week to talk about the Gents program. I'm joined here today by Centenary Athletic Director David Orr. Thank you so much for joining me today. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. So before we get into how Centenary is looking right now when it comes to the football program, let's go back to the beginning of bringing mm. this football back to Shreveport. What was the vision that you guys had? Well, the vision actually started with community before it actually started with actually the gridiron, so to speak. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I mean, football brings together people like no other sport. It's a unique animal, I guess. And uh, we just couldn't wait to have Shreveport root for a home team, college football team here. You know, looking at this, the facilities you guys have right now, it's amazing to think that a year ago these guys were sharing a locker room. They didn't have, you know, a press box in the field like this and everything. Getting to be a part of that process and then seeing it all turn out how it is now, what is that like for you? Well, it's fantastic, but it's mostly fantastic when I get to see the look on their faces, the student athletes' faces, the coaches' faces, uh, their, their parents, the fans, the spectators. Uh, that's what brings me joy about this whole process. When it comes to bringing football back to Shreveport, like you said earlier, it started with the community. Mm -hmm. How have you seen the community, the student athletes, the students as a whole rally around this? It's been more than I thought it was going to be. I mean, at first when you say we're bringing back football, then you look at your own coaches that don't, you know, before we have football and they're kind of wondering what's this going to be like and is this going to be positive for me or negative for me. And after we bring it back and they see the first home football game, 
all we saw was smiles and, and positivity, that rising tide lift all ships mentality. You know, when you are bringing a program back, uh, the obvious question, who is going to be the man in charge? Mm -hmm. Talk to me about why coach Byron Dawson. <laughs> what was it about him that made him the perfect man for not only the job, but bringing football back to Shreveport? Well, let me start. So this is kudos to Byron. But we had an amazing pool of candidates for head football coach. Mm -hmm. And Coach Dawson comes into the pool, and it was very immediate. Uh, it was obvious. The energy, his love for Shreveport, Bossier City, Louisiana, um, just felt like everything was just kind of coming together uh, in that moment. And it almost felt like, okay, now we have football. Now we know it's going to be successful because we know we have the right coach. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. My pleasure. Thank you. We'll send it back to you in the studio. Thanks, Taylor. Coach, how much, how much does it mean to you to have an athletics director who has so much passion for Centenary to start with, uh -huh. for the football program, uh -huh. and for you as a head coach? Oh, man, that means the world. You know, to know that your leader is behind you, and, you know, when you talk to coaches, you know, we often talk about the administration, who's leading. That's the key when you take a job. And I knew from day one that this was the right guy. And it's just because he's, he's a hard worker, he's a grinder, he's a visionary. He dreams big and, and uh, he has big dreams, he has loyalty to his school, but he understands people, he can connect with different peoples on different levels. And so to be under his leadership and to see what he's done in a short period of time is a testament to the fact that he gets stuff done. And so to be able to work for a guy like that is a great joy each and every day. Him and I had a conversation uh, when I first moved back, uh -huh. and we were talking about you, and uh, he said that he knew he wanted you to be the coach Yes. before you had applied for the job. Wow. So what was the conversation like from the time you got the phone call that said, hey, do you want this job? Why don't you right. apply for it, to getting the job? Well, you know, he just, he just put the map out there and the plan of, and you know, it was a connection, for example, uh, he, he wanted Shreveport on the front of the jersey, and, and so did I. And so from, from everything, we, we were just connected as far as having the same mindset and the same uh, aspiration for greatness. And so I think that's important. And just to see how the community have received us, just to see the support from our leadership on campus, president, board of trustees, faculty, staff, it's just been love. And so to be at a place like that and to see the momentum and see what we've been able to do in a short period of time is because of the visionary David Orr and the time he's invested into preparing us for this moment. You said how the community's been behind you? Yes. He's known that was going to happen yeah. since all the way back in 2015. That was part of the conversation. Wow. That's, That's awesome. Yeah. He, he saw it way before any of the rest of us did. Yeah. Well, coming up, Taylor Nettle goes inside the huddle with Gents defensive lineman DeQuavion Lemons. Stay with us.